Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Marshall Middle School for the Franklin 4th and 5th grade band concert. Uh, thank you for your flexibility as we, we come to part three of our uh, Take Your Show on the Road concert series. We were at Ingemar Middle for our chorus, uh, for our orchestra concert. We were at Nash last week for our chorus concert. And here we are tonight at Marshall for our band concert. Um, I think you'll agree that this is probably a little more of a comfortable venue for all of you in, in the audience. Uh, how about for our friends up on stage too? Is this better than the gymnasium we have at school? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, so the fourth and fifth grade band did their rehearsal today in school, and I think you're going to be blown away at the progress uh, that we've seen in, in you know, here tonight uh, with our students. Um, we'd like to thank Mr. Leisure for uh, the tremendous work he does directing our band, and I'd like to personally thank Mr. Leisure for putting together a tremendous set list. He always puts a song in there that the adults can relate to. Um, you know, like a sort of pop culture hit for us. So, uh, great set list guy we have here. Uh, fourth and fifth grade kids, thank you for participating in the band and always staying involved in the arts, and especially our fifth grade friends. Congratulations, this will be your, your last concert as a Franklin student. So thank you for participating in the, band, the Franklin band and chorus over the years. We wish you all the best in middle school. At this time, we'll turn it over to Mr. Leisure and the fourth and fifth grade band. Welcome to our spring concert. Well, this is a little different than the Franklin Gym, all right? It's air, well, there's, it's air conditioned, so that's good, right? Yeah, I think I like this. This is nice. Uh, so uh, we're going to be, uh, I think we have a very enjoyable uh, concert for you this, this evening. We're going to start our performance uh, tonight uh, with fifth grade band, as we traditionally do in our spring concert, uh, with the playing of our national anthem, uh, the Star Spangled Banner. So at this time, I would like to ask you to please rise for the playing of our national anthem.
bear with us on the stage change. We are all, including myself, strangers in a strange land. So uh, literally, we're up in the big bright lights uh, today. So uh, this is much different than what we're used to. So, and we didn't have had a, a, this is the first time we were performing on the stage. So they're experiencing a lot of new things up here. So fourth grade band is next, and they're going to play three pieces for you uh, on their own. And uh, all of our fourth graders are in their first year of instruction. And they made such impressive progress uh, this year. You know, when they start at the beginning of the year, um, they had to learn how to put their instruments together and make an initial sound, and then some notes, and then some songs. And the last you heard us, uh, back in January, we were doing um, book songs mainly in unison, so like Hot Cross Buns, Jingle Bells, Good King Wenceslas, you know, all the hits. And, um, uh, but now we progress to full concert band arrangements. And what I mean by that is instead of us play, all playing the same thing like we did back in January, the same melody in unison, we're now playing concert band music, so each instrument has its own part. So it's definitely a step up in difficulty uh, for them. They're going to do three pieces for you on their own, and this first piece is a wonderful march for beginners. It's called Eagle Summit March. Bye. 
Thank you. Uh, before we go on to the uh, the next piece that fourth grade is going to do for you, you know, um, summer's coming up, in case you aren't aware. And um, one of the best things you can do, you know, from a band director standpoint, and also from the student standpoint, is to keep them somehow playing and, and, and working on their instruments over the summer. Um, there are great opportunities um, in the area, some camps, but one of the things that we run, um, that we have here in North Allegheny, is Annie Summerman. And uh, since she's here tonight, uh, by the way, this is uh, Mrs. Linda Granite, who's the band director here at Marshall Middle School. And typically, I would give the spiel about Summer Band, but since she uh, is one of the directors for, or the director for Summer Band, I thought she could do the spiel. So she, Mrs. Grant is going to talk to you about NA Summer Band. Yeah, that's coming way down. Okay, so yes, um, Linda Granite, and we are in our third summer this year of offering NA Summer Band. And just to quickly tell you what it's about, um, for just $25, your son or daughter could come and play for eight rehearsals and a concert. And we don't have an attendance policy. It's not like a camp where you have to go every day. So, you know, go on vacation, that's okay. Just don't come to the summer band. We rehearse on Thursday evenings here at Marshall Middle School. And the only week that's not a Thursday is the week of the 4th of July. And that week we'll rehearse on a Wednesday. Um, but uh, we started this because, I mean, these kids sound great. You're, Mr. Pizzani and I are just amazed by what they're doing. Um, if they don't play all summer, they're kind of at risk for forgetting what they've learned. I mean, we've got a good five, six, seven, eight notes down pat here, um, but if they don't do it over the summer, they forget. Um, but a bigger thing is, you know, I'm a parent too, my children are a little older now, but um, I think the best, the best thing we can offer kids in music sometimes is to get together with other people and make music. And so Summer Band offers a chance for all these kids to get together across the district. So we have two bands. Um, the one band is directed by Mr. Dan Clicker. He teaches at Bradford Woods in Hosack Elementary School. And it's an elementary band. So anybody who's in fourth or fifth grade now would be in that band. And then we also have a middle school band for grades six, seven, eight. And I will be directing that one. And one thing that's new this summer is we, we kept getting like older siblings that wanted to play with their younger siblings. So if you have a son or daughter in high school and they want to come and play with their elementary or middle school age, Sibling, they're welcome to come as well. They, they wouldn't pay $25, it would be only $9. So it's a really good buy, and uh, we'd love to see all of you up here with that. So thank you. Did she mention the free t shirt? Did we get a free t shirt? They also get a free t shirt. I mean, you know, 25 bucks in the free t shirt and all that awesome instruction. So you can't, you can't beat that. Okay, so we're going to continue on now with uh, the music. Fourth grade has one more piece that they're going to do for you uh, on their own. We're going to bring it back for our combined finale at the end of the concert. And this is a really exciting piece, um, very triumphant sounding, and we enjoy playing. This is called Flying Pop.
Thank you guys again for mind um, finale. And uh, we're going to do a little uh, stage change and transition to our fifth grade. We'll be right. Musical chairs, except there, there, there really isn't enough chairs for anybody. We just have to have to, uh, have to find them. So, all right. So we're going to transition to our fifth grade. We're going to do three pieces for you on your uh, on their own. And uh, everybody in the band, I don't think we have any first year players, but everybody in the fifth grade band is a um, in their second year of instruction uh, on their instrument. So the music that they play is a little bit more challenging, and you'll be able to hear that. Um, and then I'm very proud of the progress that they have made um, this year as well. Uh, this first piece we're going to do for you is by Michael Story, who's a great uh, writer of uh, school band music. And um, I really like this uh, piece, and uh, I've been sort of waiting, I've done it before, and I've been waiting for a, group, a strong group again uh, to do it. And this was certainly the year. This is called Ovation. So we're going to uh, change styles completely for this next piece, and um, this is in more of a, a lyrical style. 
And uh, it's very challenging for us as fifth grade band students because we like to do loud and fast. That's kind of our thing as kids, right? Um, but this really challenges them to think about uh, making a gentler sound, um, a more lyrical quality, listening for balance and blend and all those things. And I really think this is a very um, pretty piece and I think you'll be impressed by it. Um, not only the sound they made in the, the last piece, but a completely different kind of sound that they made for this one. I'm gonna give you a little introduction to this piece because it starts a little differently. So there's some things that go on in the beginning of the piece that sort of set the mood for it that are a little bit differently than the way um, typical band pieces begin. So the piece is called Gentle Winds. So at the beginning, we're gonna be making a um, sort of a wind uh, effect before the, the notes of the piece kick in. So the, you're gonna hear our wind players, and a wind player is anybody on stage that blows or buzzes into their instruments, everybody except for percussion. So they're gonna be making either uh, wind sounds with their, by blowing air with their mouth or blowing air through their instruments. So we'll demonstrate that for you just so you know what's going on. So uh, wind folks, let's demonstrate to them what our wind sound is gonna sound like. That's the number one sound, go ahead. So you hear that, you kinda have to be quiet to hear it. And then um, there's going to be a couple different uh, wind chime effects in the back of the band percussion section. So you'll hear um, a sort of standard concert wind chimes. I think Aria is playing those. Go ahead and demonstrate those, Aria. Yeah, so you hear those. And then really cool in the back, um, we have uh, outdoor wind chimes, like you might have on your porch. And uh, Chase is going to play those. So here's what they sound like. So they, it's really cool. They really set the mood for the, uh, the piece. So uh, that happens, and then the notes of the piece uh, start. So really, really pretty piece called Gentle Winds. students. Uh, loud and fast, we got that. That's our thing. We love to do that. Um, but to challenge them to, to play uh, a slower piece with that much control and balance is, um, is really, really great uh, that they did that. I'm really proud of the sound they So for our next piece, we're going to do something completely different, and um, we're going to do a rock tune uh, for you. And this is by uh, the band Chicago, um, uh, which um, is a band that's still playing today. Uh, since the 1960s, so I told the kids, sir, if your parents go to Chicago, and probably by this point, grandparents um, were into Chicago, so we're getting sort of back to that. There. <laughs> so, um, and this is a week, but we really enjoy playing this piece. This is uh, 25 or 6 to 4.
Thank you. How about another round of applause for a fifth grade band? Okay, looks like we're ready to go. So before we do our, um, our, our combined finale, just some thank yous. Um, uh, he had to step out uh, to, uh, to take care of something, but he was here at the beginning. But I want to go ahead and thank him, and that's um, Mr. Anderchak, because he's a wonderful administrator. He supports everything um, in the school, everything that's going on in the school. Um, he's a great principal for the kids. He's a great administrator as, as, as a teacher, and um, he's a supporter of everything that we do um, in the school, and, and the arts and music is certainly one of those things. So we'll go ahead and give Mr. Anderchak an extension. <laughs> And, uh, and I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but it's kind of a busy time for him right now. We've got a little bit of a, of a remodeling project going on there um, at the moment. Um, so uh, he's been a great friend for us, so we want to say thank you. Uh, Tim, we have, uh, uh, I want to thank, uh, it's uh, uh, from Marshall Middle School for, uh, for welcoming us. Uh, this has been great. Uh, this is a great setup, and it's for, it can be tough, you know, coming to a place that we're not familiar with, but everything has been great. So thank you to Marshall Middle School. And next year um, is a big year of, it, of construction as well. So uh, for fourth grade folks, or if you're a fifth grade parent and you've got a third grader coming up to, to band next year, uh, the winter concert is going to be at Ingemar Middle uh, in January, and then the spring concert will be right back here at Marshall Middle School. So um, we'll, we'll try to mix up both of the middle schools next year. So speaking of the middle schools, we have a couple of uh, special guests with us tonight. Uh, one of them you already met here, but I just want to mention, uh, thank them. Um, and uh, first off, uh, we have uh, the band director at Ingemar Middle School. Uh, some of you, uh, your children may have already had him or currently have him. And I think he really enjoys playing uh, tuba with us. And I think they're all in the back. But Mr. Vizani from Ingemar Middle School is with us tonight. So we can give him a And uh, again, one of our talk about gracious hosts, um, she let us use her classroom tonight. It was so super helpful. How, I mean, these chairs were already here, and the stands were already here, and the percussion stuff was already here. So literally, all I had to do was come here and just kind of nudge a couple of things. But um, uh, she's the band director of Marshall Middle School. So if your kids are bound for Marshall Middle School and continue the program, uh, they will have her. And that's um, Mrs. Grant. So thank you, Mrs. Grant. Do the NA Summer Band, it's a great thing. And you get a t-shirt, so there you go. There's some additional help from that. And then finally, and most importantly, I would like to thank you, the parents. These are great kids up on stage. It's been absolutely fabulous working with them this school year. They've made such wonderful progress. 
Um, and I uh, really enjoy teaching them in the, in the classroom. But none of that could have been done without your support, making sure they have instruments, getting their books, making sure they bring their instruments on the right day, um, reading all those emails I sent about things. So um, thank you, uh, the parents and the kids. Why don't we give our parents and families a round of applause? <laughs> Frankly, I think that was weak and half-hearted. And you know, we're trying to get, you might try to be trying to get some ice cream out of this. We can do better than that. Like you want to get some ice cream out of this. Come on. It's not a school night. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, a, that's slightly better, okay? So uh, this is our last piece that we're going to do. So once we're done, um, uh, our, the kids are going to go off stage and back to the band room, uh, which if you can't find that, that's where the, the signs lead to that. Um, so you can pick up your child there. Please pick up your child. That's very important. You must take them home. I can't go home until they go home. <laughs> so um, that you can take them uh, home. And then uh, instruments don't need to come back to school because uh, we'll be a uh, royal pension band uh, for the year. So we're going to leave you tonight with our combined finale. Um, I hope uh, everybody has a great rest of the school year and a wonderful summer. And uh, drive safe tonight. This, we're going to close the concert with America the Beautiful.